Good evening. Welcome to Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia. I'm Kevin Barga, the Director of Music Ministry. This is our Music Minute. We're glad you've joined us. This is where we take a look at our hymns that we'll be using in worship tomorrow and learn a little bit more about them and hear some variation on those tunes. We're going to go all out of order today. So we'll start with the sending hymn, which is Praise the One Who Breaks the Darkness. And the text for this tune was actually written in 1986, so it's a fairly recent tune. And um, we think that the tune goes way back, though. Uh, and you'll recognize that Nettleton is the tune name. It was written while its author was doing a Bible study on the life and ministry of Jesus. That's the text that was written then. And it shows many things. It shows that um, Christ will break the darkness, liberate the deeds, have liberating deeds of mercy, and makes us one. And the composer author said, uh, quote, it is astounding how much Jesus did in such a brief early ministry. Yet more astounding is how God's blessing and saving acts continue on through Jesus Christ. How can we do other than to praise this light in the darkness? End quote. Uh, so this is praise the one who pray, breaks the darkness and variations on that. might better know that as Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Same tune, the Nettleton tune. Then we're going to turn to communion, and that is One Bread, One Body. And I think this is a favorite among many here at Epiphany. Uh, the hymn comes referring to the passage from 1 Corinthians where Paul is speaking about the cup of blessing and the bread we break as a sharing in the body and blood of Christ. It's a unique hymn in that it relies heavily on the accompaniment to keep it in motion and keep it moving forward. So without accompaniment, this one would really fall flat. So this is a variation on one bread, one body.
lovely reflective piece. Next will be the hymn of the day. This is from All Creation Sings. This is Cast Out, O Christ. And this hymn names many challenges. Among them are hate, dread, grief, fear, shame. And we ask Jesus to remove each of these in our lives as we sing through this. Uh, Jesus' actions are not confined to those long ago miracles that we read about all the time. Uh, the casting out demons, calming storms, entering locked rooms. Uh, instead, Jesus continues to bring us life, hope, and health today, even as we live. We pray that our lives may be transformed to spread God's love and joy to the world. And this is a plaintive yet sturdy tune. You'll recognize it. We often sing it during Advent. And um, actually, it's not Advent. It's um, Glory of These 40 Days, Lent. And uh, you'll hear the confidence with which Martin Luther really wanted us to boldly say that we, as loving children, are instructed to pray uh, the Lord's Prayer in the small catechism. So this will be back on the organ. Cast out, O Christ. powerful ending. Last but not least, we'll go to the um, gathering hymn, which is Rise, Shine, You People. And the text uh, here, the author was asked to write a hymn for the epiphany season. And so the text from Isaiah 60 verse 1, Arise, shine, for your light has come, immediately came to mind for this writer. And it was published as a bulletin insert for the fourth Sunday of Epiphany, which was the first Sunday in February in 1974, and the gospel on that day was actually Luke 4, where Jesus went to the synagogue with people on the Sabbath and read the scroll. Importantly, this hymn in the text you'll read, Christ the Lord has entered our human story. So this is a wonderful imagery. It does have another tune that we don't tend to use for it, Easter Confessor, 
the new version that we are singing in worship tomorrow has more of the power that really matches the text. So rise, shine, you people, and there will be two variations of this.
We thank you for joining us today, and we hope that you have a good evening. Uh, if you're coming and worship with us in person tomorrow, that will be at 8.30 and 10.30, our summer schedule. And if you're going to be online, that will be uh, live streamed from the 10.30 service on our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining. See you next week.